Okay, I have a Kaba 8 here. It has um, 12 pins in it, arranged in three separate rows. There's four pins coming on from the left, four pins coming from the right, and four pins coming from the top. And I want to say the top pins are the ones that gave me the most trouble. Um, you can see this key. There's uh, four that come in here, four that come in here, the key's reversible, and then four that come in from the top. Two of them are max lifts in the back. And um, for the longest time, I was using uh, some SS the other SF dev uh, deep hook. And when I'd get the back pins on top set, I'd be oversetting pins on the right with the shaft of the other pick. So um, this one was able to, to get it done. Uh, I've got it open once just now. And now um, see if I can get it open again. So I got the left and right down really quick. Um, basically, uh, there's the four pins on the left and then the four pins on the right. So left, right, left, right as you go back. Um, actually goes left, top, right, left, top, right. Um, as they go back deeper into the, the thing. So you have to use really heavy tension. So there's a click from uh, left one. Number, uh, le right one is springy. Click from left two, right two springy. Click from left three. Click from right uh, three. Click from left four and right four is springy. So um, we would go back and check some more, but I know that the next is uh, the top ones. And I don't know their binding order. Okay, the front one is, uh, top one is springy. So I'm getting underneath that front pin. Top two is springy. Um, work my way back, try not to overset anything. The, the heavy tension really helps with that. So I'm pushing the front of top four. Click from top four. Now I'm gonna come back, I'm pushing the back of top three. Top three seems to be the hardest one to set. All right, I click that. Uh, I really hope I didn't overset something in doing that. Um, I'm thinking maybe I overset this front right one. Mm, maybe it's okay. All right, let's check the front two top ones. These I'm not too sure about. That first one feels springy. The second one feels springy as well. All right, let's see uh, if if things are good down here or if something's overset. Left side number four needed a little another tap. The rest felt already set. Now I'm gonna start at the back on the right number four. Still springy. That's not a good thing. I think. I'm gonna let off some tension. See if I overset this one. Yep, I overset uh, one and two on the right while working on the top. That's okay, I just let off tension and I saw them drop back out. I'm gonna feel if I dropped any of the other ones out on the left and right, no. So what that probably did is probably um, drop down some of my top pins again. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try to stay more to the left side with my pick because uh, that's what caused the overset on the right, I think. Check number four on top feels springy. Three on top feels like it dropped again. I'm trying to do it without touching the right pins. Are you set? It might be set. Didn't make a noise that I could hear. Maybe you could hear it on the on the pickup. Uh, check the front top one, springy, top two. Oh, I think I felt a little movement when I touched top two. All right, oh, let me check top of one again while I'm, if top two did something. Top one's still springy. Okay, now the top pins are tapered on the key pins and drivers, so you have to keep maybe tapping them or releasing some tension to drop it if it went into the key pin. Um, so you might have to do that a decent amount of times. Uh, I'm going to feel right four feels binding. Or is it set? No, it's binding and we're open. So that was the last one there. Uh, so it's a little tricky. Um, this is a purple belt lock, but it feels kind of, um, 
I don't know, it's kind of difficult. So let's go ahead and uh, open her up. Zoom out, put on some autofocus. Lower it down. Move the light a little. Okay. Out the way. Lock it up. Key again. Still good with the key. We'll get, um, I don't know, maybe we'll get two trays, maybe two trays. And what I've done is five of the springs were actually um, crimped with these these black, when these brass plates were put on, they, um, they crimped, they pinched five of the springs. So I ended up having to remove these plates. And so then I just made them so they could be slid on and off because I was trying to gut it through the plug and I couldn't get those five springs out because they were, they were pinched. So we'll go ahead and gut it through these, these things. So we'll start on the, on the left side, I guess, sliding this out. Let's see if I can slide this out without losing all my springs. All right, the first spring wants to show itself. Can't pull the rust out. Okay. So this will be the left side up here. I'll put the left side here, right side here, and I'll put the tops up there maybe, I guess, something like that. Okay, there's a spring three and spring four. Actually, maybe I'll put this on the right side. Uh, I shot the spring at myself. I'll find that one later. It, it bounced off my belly, so it's just it's sitting at my feet. So that one's not too bad. All right. So this is pin four. So each of the um, each of the spring caps are like these little. There are these little um, hollow things, so they can sit over the spring and I guess give it more room to move. And there's the pin. The pin has a little lip on it, I guess, to stop the. Um, pin from falling into the key chamber. Oh my gosh, I'm such a mess. My left hand is very sore from holding the heavy tension trying to figure this guy out. So all these queso, or no, these uh, high pin locks, they seem to need a lot of tension and it's uh, not good for the tension hand. All right, there's that. There's that other one. So there's the left side. Now let's get the, let me do the right side next. Let me just see real quick if I see the spring in front of me. I can, seeing if it's still on my belly. No, it fell down to my feet somewhere. So I'll definitely have to find that after. Oh, come on. What's going on with this one? Okay, slide this one out. Okay, right side springs. Three and four. Three and two. Three, four. One and two decided to, oh, they came apart. Pin four. Three. Oh, I uh, dropped something else as well. I think the caps are all the same length. I'm trying to tell right down here, kind of off the camera, uh, if these two are the same length or not. I'm going to have to go back to photo if they're not. Uh, it looks like the right one might be a little bit longer, so I'll check a photo after to see if those are in the right order. And pin one. Okay, now I'll do the tops, and then we'll try to take out the plug. Nothing special about the plug, but just for completeness, we'll take it out. All right, there's the tops. We'll put the tops up here. All right, it's not a big deal, but it bugs me that it's that was laying a different direction than the rest of them. Springs. 
They're all the same, the springs, so it doesn't really matter the order. There's the springs. And these have these really cool driver pins like this. And again, they have that hollow cap at the top, but it's just really long because, you know, the top chamber is much longer, right? Top chamber has all that distance to go. Um, I guess so that they can keep the same key pins as they use for the other rows. They don't have to change those up. Okay, there's that top one. The key pin for that. So they don't have to have like really long key pins, right? Things like that. I'm going to take out number one next. Because it's hard to keep my finger covering number one. Oh, all right, come on. All right, number two's driver, number. Maybe I'll just get number two out. Come on. Rolling, rolling. And number one. So there's all the pins. I'll show those in a second. Let's just get a screwdriver and see if we can get these off. See that two are not fully in. There's like some Loctite or something on them that's a pain in the butt. So I didn't screw those all the way in. And then these two went all the way in just fine. Okay, see they got this yellow stuff all over them. It makes it hard to get them all the way in. Maybe I'll clean that up. Ah! I just whack. I just whacked key pin number two into my belly. Oh, it's still stuck to my belly. <sighs> you know, only on camera does this stuff happen. Um, so nothing special there about the the core. The let's see. It has these little lips in the plug. That's just to catch these lips on the uh, key pin so they don't drop into the keyway. Yep, yep. So let's see what we got. All right, so those are the left and right key pins. Can't lift it up too far. It's gonna go crazy on the gravity. Um, there are some things just in case you overset like this guy you can see if you overset him you'll drop into that that was happening when I was using the other um, the other pick to set the top pins uh, same thing with the first one here and then the top here are the top pins let this fall down there uh, nothing special there and they're all just standard all right so have to find that spring on the floor and then we'll be done with the Kaba 8. I'll find that after I turn off the video. All right, that's it. Thanks. Bye.